Louisiana Beer Reviews, Miller Lite. Miller Lite is one of the most popular beers on planet Earth. And it, its history is probably more interesting than the beer itself. <clears throat> Miller Lite was obtained from another company by Miller in 1972. Miller, who actually since the 1960s was owned by Philip Morris Tobacco Company, acquired the Meister Brow Brewery of Chicago in 72. And you might remember the Meister Brow brand that was around in the 80s and was discontinued in 2005. But it was Meister Brow Light, or actually it was Light, L-I-T-E, from Meisterbrow, they invented light beer, essentially. But the company was struggling so much it just didn't take off, but Miller could see potential in this. So in 1973, they started to test market light by Miller. And then in 75, they launched it nationwide and it gave it a heavy advertising campaign. And you might remember this, the less filling tastes great campaign just blanket coverage everywhere with this and uh, it shot to the top and launched the light beer revolution and then um, Anheuser-Busch quickly launched natural light Schlitz in 75 launched Schlitz light and um, well everybody just started putting out their light beers uh, Coors Light in 78 here's the original light bottle design is a photo this is from literature that Miller sent me in the mid 90s they don't say a lot about the beer on their website at all it just says it's low calorie it's crisp it's refreshing and it's very popular and I know the current slogan is triple hopped they don't really explain what that means here's a Miller light glass um, I guess this is called a chalice, but in Louisiana, everybody calls these glasses a schooner. So I'm going to pour this Miller Lite in my schooner. Um, Miller Lite is 4.2% um, alcohol. It has won many awards in the light beer category. It won four gold medals 2096 uh, 98 2002 and um i believe 06 at the world beer cup and it won silver at in 2002 at the great american beer festival for uh light beer it gets very poor ratings however uh on beer advocate it gets a d plus the bros give it a d plus it gets a very low rating on um rate beer and the beer in me gives it a uh, uh, just a flat bad rating I've never liked it in the past in fact but I'm gonna try to keep an open mind with this beer I haven't drank this in years so let's see what happens we'll open it up oh and it's kosher too in case you're looking for that all right lots of smoke with this initially give it a nice pour and the Miller Lite schooner Well, if this was in a thin beer glass, it would be a thick white head, but in the schooner, it's going to be a thin white head. Um, you see that very pale appearance. Uh, it's sort of golden, though, a little bit. Typical light beer appearance, however. Lots of bubbles streaming up the glass. I've been seeing people drink Miller Lite since I was a little kid, and it always looks the same. Always smells the same. You get that stereotypical light beer smell. It's not a bad aroma. It's just it smells like beer. Good taste. It's 
it has that thin, very dry finish. The finish is very dry and crisp. I, I will say that. They're not lying about that. But it has the taste. The taste is such a thin mineral water flavor. That's what I've always hated about this beer. I mean, I, I can tolerate it more now. But I remember being 18 and trying to drink this stuff. And, and by the way, when I was 18, it was legal to drink in Louisiana. It was act, Actually, it was legal to drink at 18 until about five years ago. Um, it just wasn't legal to sell it, sell beer to 18-year-olds. So bars couldn't really get in trouble, but they changed all that because of federal pressure, federal government restricting our freedom down here. But anyway, uh, it's the thin mineral water flavor. Has, you taste the grains. It might be triple hopped, but the hop presence is so minute. What difference would it make? It's got kind of a, um, it's got that light beer aftertaste, that s slightly bitter, dull aftertaste. The aroma is better than the flavor, to tell you the truth. All right, it's not a bad taste, okay? I, I hear people saying it's bad, it's bad. They give it such bad ratings on the, uh, when you read these ratings on rape beer. It's so bad. I don't think they're describing it correctly. I think a better description would be it's so dull. It's it lacks characters, etc. But I mean, if I drink this, it's not bad. I just I like beer with a fuller, more complex and interesting flavor. This just does not have that. I understand there are people that love light beer. It's the most popular style of beer in the world, American style light beer, light lager. So I'm not going to sit here and rip the beer. I'm going to sit here with my little job and my, you know, moderate income, and I'm gonna rip Miller Lite, which is one of the most successful food products in the history of the earth. You know, maybe they're right and maybe I'm wrong. Um, maybe I should have invented this. So I'm not gonna do that. That's, this is not the purpose of this review. It's just to review it and tell you what I think. I think it's fine. For a light beer, it's fine. It's up there with the rest. It's no better or worse than the rest. It's probably a little better than Schaefer Light because it doesn't have that eggy smell that you might get with the cheaper light beers. How would I rate it as far as just beer in general? You know, I'll give it a C. It's average. I'll go with a C. I'm more generous probably. As, a, as far as a light beer, maybe it's an A because um, I'm not really a person that should be rating light beer. But I know people, I know so many people, they just drink this religiously. This is all they're going to drink. They go to a bar, oh, they're so excited. They get their Miller Lite, and they're usually drinking it out of the bottle. They don't usually pour it, but they're just taking that first sip. Oh, that's fine. I have uncles and so many family members. They just swear by this, and they're not going to, they're not going to deviate. They're not going to drink something else. And you know, you have your Bud Light people like that, your Coors Light people. Would I recommend this? If you like light beer and um, you think you're loyal to Bud Light or Coors Light, give this a try if you want. It's not going to hurt you. It's just as good as the rest. Um, so yes, it's a fine light beer. Would I buy it again? No, I bought it this to review it. But that's not my preference. I think sometimes when we review beers, we, we have a personal preference. Like a person might say, well, oh, I adore stout. So if they drink something else they don't particularly like, they're going to rip it and call it trash and say it's no good. And I don't think that's a fair rating. I don't particularly like butter beans, but I'm not going to rip them and say they're horrible. You should never eat butter beans. 
I know a lot of people love butter beans. That's what they like. Doesn't mean the, the beans are low quality. So the beer is fine. Um, better if I don't spill it. But anyway, um, I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans.